Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing Pimsleur Spanish. I reviewed this program a little over a year ago, but of course, Pimsleur went out and made some changes to their program this past year, so I felt like I needed to take another look and do another review, so here we are. I'm gonna tell you how the Pimsleur program works, talk about cost compared to other apps, and of course, what I like and don't like about Pimsleur Spanish post-update. And by the way, I should mention up front here, since I'll just be focusing on big ticket items in this video, if you find any more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written guide over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Pimsleur Spanish Review. It's a quick way to find it. Okay, so let's start with the basics. Here's how the Pimsleur Spanish program works. From a structural perspective, there are five different levels in the course, from beginner to advanced, and each level contains 30 lessons. So around 150 total lessons in the entire program. Each lesson covers a different thematic topic like food, weather, or sports, and is comprised of a 30-minute audio exercise and a variety of review drills, which all together take about an hour to complete from start to finish. So if you look at it that way, with each full lesson taking about an hour and there being 150 total lessons, you're looking at around 150 total hours for the entire program. Though that doesn't include some supplemental drills and resources, and a lot of times you will want to review and work lessons twice, so that doesn't really paint the full picture in terms of time, but it's pretty close. But anyway, let's dive into what the lessons themselves are actually like. So to start each lesson, you complete a 30 minute audio exercise where a moderator speaking in English walks you through a Spanish conversation step by step. You listen to a couple sentences in Spanish, then the moderator will stop to explain what you're learning and what was said, and then ask you questions and have you engage and participate. It's basically a guided conversation with frequent voiceover and notes. And just as a heads up, as you move up levels, the English moderator does start to phase out some as you'll be expected to understand more of what's being said in Spanish. But then after each audio lesson, you review what you just learned through a variety of reinforcement drills and exercises. This includes matching pairs, flashcards, quizzes, pronunciation training, and speed games. Each separate reinforcement exercise takes around five to 10 minutes to complete. So in total for the entire lesson, audio portion plus drills, again, you're looking at around an hour or so from start to finish. And that's the main lesson work, which makes up probably 90% of the program. Beyond this, there is some supplemental practice work, which focuses on the same type of reinforcement drills and some bonus packs that give you extra vocab as well as skills badges, but that's more or less it. And by the way, I know I covered that pretty fast. So if you wanna see some examples of the Pimsleur drills and exercises, be sure to check out our full review that I mentioned up top. I'll have it linked for you down below in the description. I have screenshots and examples over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. Okay, so next I wanna talk about cost and how Pimsleur compares to other apps. So Pimsleur offers two different subscription options. The first is Pimsleur Premium, which gives you access to their Spanish program for $20 per month. And then there's Pimsleur All Access, which gives you access to all 50 plus of their languages for only a dollar more per month, i.e. $21 per month. Now, if you stack this cost up against other apps like Babbel and Rosetta Stone, Pimsleur is more expensive by around five to $10 or so per month on average. It's definitely not the cheapest Spanish program out there, but Big picture, it's not terrible either. And one unique thing that Pimsleur does, which I haven't seen any other companies do, is that they allow you to count split with up to three people. Meaning if you're learning with a friend, your family member, which a lot of people do, you can cut that $20 monthly price tag in half or even a third or a quarter. That's a nice perk. And one other thing, Pimsleur does have a seven day free trial period, so you can test this program out before fully committing. I would definitely recommend doing just that if Pimsleur does end up sounding like a good fit for you. I'll drop the link to the free trial down below in the description. Make sure to grab that and link on over to try it out for a week. It's best to do that before dropping any money. All right, so let's get into the good stuff. What I like about Pimsleur and what I don't like. And let's start with the positives because I think there's more good news here than bad. So first highlight is the audio lessons that I've been talking about. These audio lessons are the heart and soul of the Pimsleur course and are fantastic. The Pimsleur method is all about organic learning within intervals. This means a couple things. For one, their belief is that you should learn new words and phrases within the context of a conversation. This helps your brain internalize the language because you're hearing the words in context and with rhythm, tone, and pronunciation that you can associate with them. And second, it's about spaced review. You need to hear words at spaced intervals in order to transfer them from your short-term memory to your long-term memory. And the Pimsleur audio lessons are purposely designed to do just this. Bottom line, there's only a couple language apps on the market that use audio lessons like this, and I'm a huge fan. These audio exercises are about as close as you can come to personalized classes without actually taking live classes or being immersed. 
Okay, so second highlight for me are all the drills and exercises that follow the audio lessons. It's almost like class followed by homework. And there's a reason you get homework in school. It's because it helps you review and reinforce what you learn in class. And Pimsleur's drills are great for this. They're diverse, fun, fast moving, and the interface is very, very good. The combination of the audio lessons being followed directly by the drills is powerful. It gives the program a very deep and comprehensive feel. Then third, I wanna talk about Pimsleur's new voice coach feature, which is one of those updates that I just mentioned. So historically, Pimsleur never had any speech recognition software. It was always something missing from their program and it was a complaint I always had. But this past year, they've rolled out this new feature called Voice Coach, which so far seems very good. The software is very accurate and provides some helpful feedback. When you screw up your pronunciation, it'll tell you based on a star system. And one feature that I especially like about this is challenge mode. When you turn this on, you'll be prompted in English to say a phrase in Spanish with no hint as to how to say it in Spanish. So it makes you think critically about what to say, plus you need to still nail your pronunciation. It's difficult, but very, very helpful. And one last highlight I want to note here is Pimsleur's driving mode. They have this cool driving mode feature where you can do audio lessons during your commute or while on a road trip, which I love. This feature basically allows you to make use of your downtime and be productive when you can't afford to look at a screen. And it's not even just limited to driving. You can do audio lessons while you're doing yoga, taking a walk, cleaning the house, whatever. The flexibility of not having to look at your phone to do a lesson is a huge value add. All right, so now let's talk about the things that I don't necessarily like about PIMS or Spanish. But before I get to that, I should just mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free language course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to enter, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free subscription to PIMS or Spanish. Okay, the negatives. Number one. While I've done nothing but hype up the Pimsleur audio lessons to this point, there are a couple negatives. For one, they are a little long. With each lesson taking 30 minutes to complete, it can be a little hard to find the time to sit down and bang out a whole lesson, especially when you pause it from time to time to think about something or rewind a few seconds back. So they are lengthy. And two, they do move a little slow. These lessons don't give you that dopamine rush that Duolingo exercises do with all of their game-like features. These audio lessons are slower developing and are more academic in nature. And I don't mean that in a school sense, but they're just more professionalized and serious. So I just don't want people thinking they're getting some ultra fun game-like experience. Okay, second downside is that because the Pimsleur lessons are so audio heavy, they might not be the best option for visual learners. Besides the drills after the core lessons, there's really no visuals or graphics at all. For that matter, until you get to the reinforcement drills, there's really not even a chance for you to see or read the words or phrases in the lessons. And this can be problematic for visual learners. There are those people out there who make mental associations between new words and phrases they learn and a contextual image or graphic. If you're one of these people, you might want to consider a more graphic and text heavy program like Babbel or Rosetta Stone. I'll link our reviews of their Spanish courses down below for you. And lastly, because how much emphasis Pimsleur places on listening and speaking, their lessons are a little light on grammar. Some other courses, like Rocket Spanish, give much more attention to grammar instruction directly in the body of their coursework. Now, which approach is better is totally up for debate. Obviously, you do need to learn grammar and understand the structural differences between English and Spanish, but what I will say is that sometimes when there is too much emphasis on grammar during the early stages of language acquisition, it can do more harm than good. It's sometimes more important to focus on what you hear first and then worry about rules later. And Pimsleur definitely falls into this camp. Now, for me personally, I would like to see Pimsleur incorporate a little bit more grammar into their program, maybe with a short supplemental lesson as part of each unit. But anyway, that about does it for this review. So let's get to my final thoughts. Is Pimsleur Spanish worth it? In my opinion, yes, 100%. I've used close to two dozen apps at this point and Pimsleur still ranks up near the top of my list. And this is especially true after all the updates they've made with their new voice coach feature in the last year or so. Between the in-depth audio lessons, reinforcement drills, new speech software, and learning flexibility, there is a ton to like about this program. And I wouldn't hesitate to try them out. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something about PIMS or Spanish. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written review that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or see the other videos on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.